Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Dead, and welcome to VICCP, Very Important Central Control Panel, which is, as best as I can tell, a kind of puzzle point-and-click adventure game set on a single screen, and that's, that's interesting to me. So welcome to the VICCP, the Extremely Important Central Control Panel thingy. And as far as I can tell, this is the entire game right here. You can't turn the camera, you can't move away, I can ever so slightly move the view side to side, but that's it. I just sit inside this dark room and look at this control panel, and the entire game is trying to figure out what it does. Alright, good starting point here. There is a top secret little thing right here. Technical reference manual. Okay, so it's something to do with space, planets, atoms, diddly diddly d. Administrative password reset procedure, call a certain number, number plus other number, time, phone, and also take breaks while working on a computer. You know what? That makes sense. Yes, we will indeed take breaks, and uh, 9892, call 9892, and then I don't know, because I spilt my coffee on the top secret instructions, uh, and then there's nothing else. Okay, so call 9892 and... Alright, I've slightly spilt my coffee on the machine on this occasion, so that's... Okay, so now everything's on fire. Okay, not the best start. Ooh, that was an ending. I've just unlocked the you've just set the very important central control panel on fire ending. Lovely. Okay, drink the coffee on this occasion. Drink coffee before I accidentally destroy everything and set it all on fire. Okay, good. There's now no coffee. And the code's also changed, so that's now 9562. And I'm going to write that down next to me, because I feel like this is one of those games where, yeah, actually just having things written down is a good idea. So, okay, now try picking up the phone. And... No dial tone. Alright, leave that be. Right. Phone is not working. Gotcha. So, okay. Try pushing... Oh, hello! Right, okay. There's a thing here, and... Right, can I interact with... Yes, I can interact with these, so... Okay, I see what we're doing here. You just want me to make the things form a path. Here we go. Form path, and there we go. So that's now lit up. That panel now closes, uh, and now a new thing emerges. So... Okay. Right. Buttons. Push buttons. Continue pushing buttons. Ooh! Button lights up. Okay, try different button. Button goes out. Alright, are we coming up with a sequence here? And try button. Six. Six. Okay. Six. Six. One. And, okay. Six. Six. One. One. Okay. Six. Six. One. Two. Hang on, I'll join you as soon as I figure this one out. Okay, almost got this here. So six, six, one, three, three, then something. Six, six, one, three, three, four. Six, six, one, three, three, five. Six, six, one, three, three, six. There we go. Okay, so that's come up with that, and now there's a bomb. Now there's a giant bomb. The computer's woken up, though, so that's good. So, would you like to do something on this occasion? Um, no. Okay, so, buttons. Buttons. Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, and then five. Okay, so it's a bit like Roman numerally, or like just like a tally. And I'm guessing I'm about to explode, right? No! Okay, I'm going to explode in like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so... Try... Try buttons. So... Hang on. One... Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, that's just gone blue. Okay, so do you want me to continue pushing... No, okay. So... Is any of them? This one makes that light go blue. And hang on, that also makes the dial goes up. So... One... Then I need to find myself a a two, and I'm guessing I'm running out of time here. So yeah, that's that's two right there. There's a whole bunch of twos, and uh, uh, b -b 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 this one. Okay, that just went up even further, didn't it? Yeah, that dial's ticking upwards. So one, 
and then two, and then three. And I think I found all of the... that one. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so I'm just counting upwards. So next up, need to find a four. There's a four. Okay, that worked. Then a five. Okay, that worked too. Then a six, which is presumably going to be, yeah, a dash, then a single dot. So dash, single dot. There we go. That was not the right six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Hang on, this spiral. Uh, hang on. Six. Then follow it along. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, so you need to find one that's on the opposite axis to the one you've already done. Though I'm about to die, but you know, okay, but there's no eleven. And I'm not there yet, so I need to go up to eleven. So, one... Okay, two, um, and then, where's the three, four, five, and then, okay, we're almost there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, uh, three, four, five, uh, then six, seven, Eight, uh, nine, ten, and then, oh, hello! Right, okay, I think I can disarm the nuclear bomb, so that's good. So, I have now saved the... No, that was the opposite of what I was trying to do, actually. I, I just detonated the bomb, but that's good. That's, that's good in a way, too. So, okay, that was the, that was the I've just blown up everything ending. So, that's... That's good. So, so far I've set fire to my command console, together with literally everybody else's command console. Right, that's... that's of interest right there. Maybe we don't touch the nuclear bomb thing anymore. Maybe we just, like, leave that be for the time being. Also, don't forget, drink the coffee before I, like, you know, explode or kill everyone. No, that's not kill everyone, that's just kill me. Okay, coffee risk has now been eliminated, so... Uh, that turned the computer on, however, but hang on. Here we go. So, aha! Got myself an actual keyboard and a computer. So, CPU, RAM, system, cassette drive. So, I'm guessing that's... Okay, cassette drive, but no cassettes. Alright, so now, now I can navigate these menus just with this stuff. So, files. Okay, that's... Ah, that means back. Gotcha. So, bin to des dot, presumably exe, or maybe just ex, I don't know. So, zero, zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero. Oh, is this binary to decimal or hexadecimal or, like, whatever a normal numbering system is. So, what this is, this binary conversion. Right, okay, at some point, someone's going to challenge me to do something with binary. So, binary to decimal, I guess, is right here. So that's useful. Digital dot pick. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's pretty easy to figure out. So yeah, if you were struggling with the, the nuke thing. Scheme dot picture. All right, that's if you want to play FTL or something. Gotcha. So if that comes up on the screen at that point, remember that's there. I'm guessing these are corrupt files or something. Yeah, disk read error. Okay, nt.pick. And right, that's Nikola Tesla. Not sure that's really that useful. And loader.exe. Cassette loader. Right, so, okay, if I could find a tape. So, where's it going to be? Hang on. If I was like lean way over here, could I maybe like see a tape that was like... No, okay, there's no tape over there. I was wondering if maybe there'd be like, you know, like a hidden tape in the background, which you could find if you like looked over or something. Okay, so right now there's nothing in the drive. So leave that be for the time being. All right, so those are the files I've got available. Staff. So check for, yeah, the various dossiers, but some of them aren't available. All right, I'm just going to check these, see if any of them are actually showing up. Yes. Okay, so position... I'm guessing that's supposed to say engineer, but that's quite frankly impressive. Uh, personnel number, access, yes. Okay, 
Um, I can print that apparently. So I'm going to print that right now. So, okay. If I can... Oh, print error. Right, even the printer doesn't always work some of the time. So keep on printing that because... Why is this useful? Access, yes. Personnel number. Right, I might need to fake someone else's identity down the line. So, okay, having records of their personnel numbers strikes me as useful. Here we are, more people who are engineers have personnel numbers and are supposed to have access. So, right, just keep printing those off because if I have the option to print something to add it to my dossier, I kind of may as well. And one more person, a serviceman, personnel number, access, yes. So, all three of these individuals have access to... I assume the secret nuclear compound that I, like, live in and also just, like, you know, play in and just push all the buttons just for my own entertainment. Just those three, though, everything else returns a disc error. Fine, so now inside my top secret thing, I've got myself, yeah, a bunch of IDs. So, all right then, that's useful to know. 45, 3, 40, 81, 4, 60, 91, 0, 3, 8. Okay, try and remember that, like 45, 81, 91 or something, in case I need to prove I know who's who at some point. Right, okay, so that's staff. Next up, net slash modem. Modem, connect the line. Okay, security, error connect the line. And system setup, diagnostics, enter administrator password. Was that what this was? No, and that's also reset. Hang on, that's reset because I blew up the world. 9949, but that's not what I enter. That's a number I call. So I have to... Hang on. Number that goes to this number plus number that comes from this number is the administrator password. Okay. So, hang on, I've just... Yeah, I've already drunk the coffee, we're already fine. So, okay. The phone doesn't work, though. Hang on, can I... Aha! Hello! Right, so... One, two, three, four. The options being, presumably... Summon a person. Computer, that's presumably... Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's presumably, yeah, modem. And then this one over here... That's security, summon security. And then this one is... I don't know. I don't know what that one actually is because... Okay, something's sparking. Just pull these out, please. Pull these out, pull these out. Just pull everything out and... Four... Four stuck. Okay, four won't disconnect. So, don't know what that is, but that's fine. Right, okay. So, one... Plug into something. That's not working very well. Okay. That's still not doing anything. Can we detach? Aha! Okay. Attach one directly. One. Okay. Now. Now I've got the ability to potentially use the, the phone. So hello there. Dial tone. So hang on. What was the new number? 9949. Good. This is why I write everything down. Nine. Nine. Four, nine. Okay. Please enter three numbers. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, uh, please enter three numbers. So, yes, give three numbers and zero is there. Okay, so I'm just going to give... I'm going to give zero, zero, zero. So, zero again. Zero. And zero one more time. Zero. Okay. Okay, waiting. They've hung up on me. Put the phone back. Because now... Now, yes, wait time. And then phone number. And then, aha! Hello! Are you going to give me a code now? Six. Three. Eight. One. Okay, six, three, eight, one. I'm going to write that down right now. Okay, system setup. Now, now I can do some things. So, diagnostics, enter administrator password. Well, I've got that now, so now we're golden. Right, 6381, and... Ooh, 
Hello, suddenly I'm playing Fallout. Right, okay, we've got ourselves test cards here. And system diagnostics in progress. So... Ooh, binary! That's binary! Okay, hang on. Um, I should definitely go back to the... Uh-oh. Strategic module planning. Okay, there's... Oh, hang on. That can't be binary because those are all the same things. Right, there's a bug, which I'm trying to fix. Right, oh, bloody hell. And also, there's there's a sentient... Yes, there's a sentient helicopter going on here. Um, I think I might be about to condemn the world to nuclear fire. But like, again, I mean, possibly even worse. Possibly I just nuked like wherever I am last time. This time I feel like I'm about to start a world war. Okay, so, um, can I go back to my, my binary thing? No, that's brightness. Um, okay, I can't go back to my binary thing. So what are we doing now on this occasion? Oh, I'm literally putting all of these things in play. Okay, but why? What's the purpose here? If I wanted to destroy, presumably, America, then what I'd want would be... Yeah, like, the submarines would want to be at the front, right? Because... Oh, hang on. I've played Advance Wars, okay. Cruisers can take out submarines, and I've no idea if that's a cruiser, but, like, I'm vaguely guessing it is. So, okay. I would want to have my cruisers ready to intercept their submarines and uh, my submarines uh, hidden behind uh, battleships. At this point, I'm entirely guessing. Okay, hang on. Not everything is attached to everything. Certain things are only attached to certain other things. So I just need to figure out what you attach to. Okay, so you are attached to you. You, however, are attached to you. Okay. I'm going to bring them together into a nice line because I'm guessing this is planes assigned to certain ships, right? And submarines too. Potentially everything's supposed to be in the correct lane. Okay, so picking a random aircraft carrier, I've tried to like unravel this mess as best I can. So uh, aircraft carrier has an attachment to a plane a submarine, another plane, and what may or may not be a cruiser. But say, that first plane has a connection not just to the aircraft carrier, but to an unrelated cruiser, and to the same cruiser. So, I've tried to untangle the mess, but yeah, once you start getting down over to various problems like, yeah, say this cruiser over here, which is connected to... Both the submarine that I put down here, but also to, yeah, this submarine up here. It starts getting messy. Everything seems to have... Is everything connected? Yeah, everything's got four, precisely four connections. No, that one's got three. Right, that's that theory blown out of the water. It's moments like this that make me wish I'd printed out the FTL map, because I'm guessing that's what this is for. Okay, so this one's totally lost me. I've tried untangling the mess. I've tried to see any pattern down over here on the circuit board that's actually reflected over here, and I can't see anything going on there either. I've tried mirroring the American forces with mine. Nothing seems to generate a response. The only other thing I can think to do is, yeah, ignore the screen at the back, move everything out of the way, and look at the circuit board underneath it, where if you were to move the pieces into the right position, you could use the connecting lines to try and attach things together. But... The lower half of the table isn't actually that useful because they don't seem to be duplicating each other. It's not a mirror image at all. So in which case, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'd connect to what. So, uh, you know, say I could take... Hang on if I can find a piece that's connected to you guys. Yeah, I could take these two pieces and then, like, you know, we'd connect together these two spots because there would be a connection there. But I don't know whether those two are supposed to be connected. Right, I'm chalking this one up to a mystery. Right, let's try some more stuff with the telephone here. So yes, in particular, net and modem. 
So, uh, the modem presumably is. I've already drank the coffee. We're fine. The modem just needs to be... Yeah, that'll be number two. So, take two. Plug that in over here. So, now, presumably, the modem works. Enter phone number. I don't know what phone number I'm supposed to ring. Yeah, the only number I know is the admin password office. So, I'll give it a go, I suppose. And, oh, hang on, I need to enter it over here. So, nine. Nine. And then, hang on, was that just three, seven? Yes, three, seven on this occasion. It resets every time. Connect to nine, nine, three, seven, no connection. Right, so I need to know what number my dial-up internet needs to dial up to before I'm actually allowed to do that. Okay, crack open the telephone again. Unplug that for now. Now, yeah, put in number three. So number three is security. Push the security button and... Oh, hang on, no. Now I need to go over here for security. So security, connect to checkpoint. And hello, I've woken up something. So, yeah. Checkpoint. That's... Oh, someone's calling me. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't have annoyed security. And... Hello, let me in, medic. Uh-oh. I should have printed off the... Right, I see what I need to do here. Before I call security, I need to know who should and shouldn't be allowed in. I'm just going to let this person in, and we're going to see what happens. So, uh, you're allowed in. I've opened the gate. Welcome aboard. I'm sure you're... Oh, you are 100% not legit. I'm getting opening of Fallout 2 vibes here. I feel like the Enclave are coming in, and it ain't going to be... No, everything's now on fire. Okay, now I know what to do. Print out who does and doesn't have access, and then... Yeah, okay, lots of, lots of things exploding right now. Print out who does and doesn't have access, then call the security office, then only let in the people who are supposed to be let in. Still, on the plus side, whatever it is they do to this place, they can't do any worse than me, because... I have already sort of blown up the world at least once. So just to verify, the three endings I've managed so far are setting fire to myself, setting fire to everybody else, and getting myself shot. So maybe I just shouldn't be touching the console. Okay, I've drunk the coffee and I've printed off the CVs here. So the people allowed in are a medic starting with, yeah, ID 93, an officer starting with 19, or an engineer starting in 42. So all those people have access, yes. I cannot confirm anybody else's access. So, having done that, open up this. All right, so just unplug all of this. Now plug in three. Now call up security. All right, there we go. Hang on, no, don't call up security. That's, that's not how that works. Instead, uh, go back to system, not system setup. Go to security option. Yeah, connect to the checkpoint, but do not let people in unless they meet one of the three criteria for people I know are allowed into this building. Otherwise, I'll get shot and the world will be blown up by somebody who's not me. So, hello over there. Officer... I don't think you're the right officer. Hang on, there was an officer, but didn't the officer have... Nope, the officer began 19. So, 19. So, as a result of that, we are going to not open the gate to you. You are not legit. You can go away, please. We'll just wait for someone else to show up. Do we put the phone back? Oh, yep, more people are calling me. Right, who are you? That's engineer 83954. Uh, Hang on, there was an engineer. Didn't it begin? I can't remember what it began with. Hang on, we'll check if that's you. No, Engineer begins with 42. It's another random chancer who wants to invade my bunker. So no, no, you cannot come in. Do not open the gate. Wait for more people to show up. Less people who are like, you know, blatantly not supposed to be here. More people who are supposed to be here. Medic 66. Pretty sure you're not supposed to be here either. Nope, Medic was supposed to be 93. Out you go. Oh, hang on, we might have a match here. Yeah, because a medic of 93382 is supposed to be coming in here. Medic 93382! You can come in. You've actually got access. So, congratulations. 
welcome aboard. You can come into my bunker. Now, hopefully, this will lead to less on fire and more... Hang on, you've got... Yes, he doesn't appear to have soldiers with him. So, I've let inside a medic who was supposed to be here. I could probably hang up the phone at this point. Right, don't let anyone else in. Unless, of course, I'm supposed to be letting in all three of the people I know are supposed to be here. And... Also, I can't really turn around right now, so... Ah! I need to let in all three. Gotcha. Well, I know you're not supposed to be here because the next two people have to be an officer and an engineer. Also, I can't help but notice, yeah, there are like, you know, ruins and explosions going on in the background. So I'm not sure what's going on outside, but I think I'm safe for just staying in the vault right where I am. Oh, the game's throwing curveballs at me now. Yeah, officer of 19416 is allowed in, not 19415. Sorry, you were just one too early in the queue for officers. You can naff off. Ah, finally, Engineer 42181, welcome aboard. You can most definitely come and join me. And uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, he was, he was supposed to come in. He was supposed to come in. Engineer 42181. Engineer 42181, right? Engineer 42181, access yes. He was, he was totally supposed, he was supposed to be here. He was totally, he was listed in the documents as being okay. Oh, bloody hell, why is he shooting me? Possibly I was supposed to check his face against the, oh yeah, that, that probably wasn't actually him, was it? No. No, it probably wasn't, because I didn't bother actually considering whether he looked anything like his picture. So on this occasion, let it a serviceman beginning year ID 90, if and only if he's got a terrible moustache and beard combo, an officer beginning 39, if and only if he's got a massive beard. But I guess I'll forgive him if he's not wearing the same hat. Okay, I've got a serviceman here of the right ID number and rank, but this is the guy who's supposed to have... Beard and moustache. Okay, beard and moustache. The moustache is, yeah, about right. The beard's maybe a tiny bit big, but close enough. I think that's legit. So please let there be no soldiers behind him. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad. No, there are no soldiers behind him. He has been allowed access. We've got number one in, nice and safe. Right, we need to check the facial hair here. Okay, number two's arrived. ID 86617. Engineer. Appears to be pretty much clean shaven. 86617 Engineer, pretty much clean shaven. Okay, you better be legit because you look pretty legit to me. Hang on, check hair colour. Just double check hair colour here. Yeah, hair colour checks out too, dark hair. You can come in. Please don't be murdering me because if so, I'm going to be really sad. And please, no power armour behind you. No power armour, good. We got two out of three. That means only one more, and the last one's actually pretty easy. Yeah, possibly glasses, massive beard, Officer 39757. Okay, Officer 39757. We've already checked your details, that's fine. You do appear to have a massive beard, you are wearing glasses, and you're not wearing the same hat, but you do have a head covering of some description. You know what? I'm gonna let you in. And I'm really hoping that, you know, this time a better ending of some description. No troops behind him. No troops behind him. Right. In you come. I've let in the three people I know who are supposed to be let in. They're all flagged over there. Put the phone away. Now, please tell me that means I've actually unlocked, like, you know, a good ending. Where I don't end up... Ooh. Okay. Admittedly. That is the same lever I pulled previously that caused a massive nuclear explosion. Possibly all the endings are basically just massive explosions, but... Alright, pull the lever. And Alpha Centauri, Sun, all staff, what? What's happening right now? We're going to... Oh, I think we're going to the... Is that the Sun? That's not the Sun, that's a gate. Something's, something's gone wrong. Hello? Teleportation was successful to... To the sun? Did we want to do that or possibly to Alpha Centauri? Right, I think I I teleported either to the sun or to Alpha Centauri. But in all fairness, it feels like much of a muchness, to be perfectly honest. Apparently I have a teleporter here, by the way. Who knew? Okay, so, still don't know what the number is that I actually need to dial up to get the internet. So in which case, and we've also got ourselves... 
Alright. Press this. Oh. That made that go wibble. Hang on. Keep making go wibble. Right. And then Ooh! Okay. Right, tapes. Well that's that's good. Um yeah, grab a tape. Shove it in here. No, no. Open that up, please. Tape. Put in tape player. Right, okay. Um keep making go round. Just in case more tapes and no more tapes, but vodka. Right, pour myself a nice vodka. Apparently the world is currently exploding, so you know what? Every time is vodka o'clock when the world's on fire. So I'll have myself just a quick drink of vodka too, just to wash down my coffee. And Okay, that was a bit violent and unnecessary. Now I'm going to struggle to read some of this. Still, I know what I'm doing. Loader.exe. So yeah, load the contents of the tape, please. And... Yeah. Tape. Result of calculations. Okay. Bunch of percentages. Print those. Because we might need those for reasons I'm not 100% clear on right now. But okay. If you load the red cassette, you get yourself some data. Some things that are more or less likely to succeed. But probably the most important one is, if I ever find myself looking at a 5x3 grid... Then one in from the right on the top row, that's got a 100% chance of success. So uh, go for that, whatever that is. Right, just get that tape out, shove it back over there. Tape number two, shove that in please. So get that tape down. Activate loader.exe. Yep, cassette loader. Load. So what have you got on you black cassettes? And the answer is... Okay. Apparently nothing. Possibly that's an empty one I'm supposed to, like, write onto. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, we'll put that one back over there for the time being. That's the only two tapes I've got right now, so... Hang on. Keep turning this round. Is there any chance, like, a third shelf in there if I got all of it now? No, now I've got all of it. Though, there's more than one way to... Ah! There's more than one way to complete this puzzle. So one way led to the nuke, absolutely. But I can also complete the thick black line. Right, so that opens up the panel in a different way. And now I've got four things. Okay. So I can make them go around. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to be able to figure out here? Alright, make them all point in, like, different directions or something. Uh, oh! Hello, was that... What? What just happened? Was that... Was that northeast, south, south that did something? Or northeast, south, west? Was that just, like, compass directions? Okay. Um, the VICCP is now doing... Something. Okay, so... I can control two two things. Okay. So, probably the moon. If I had to guess, something's going to be on the moon. Go over to something else here. Check out, yeah, check out the moon. Check out the, ah, I physically can't look at the moon. That's a bit of a shame. Apparently the other one can't get in range of the moon. So, okay. Uh, go over to here. That's your minus 19 as well. Right, so you can go from minus 19 to 19. Okay, that's that's the range right there. Um, go back over to the other one. Yeah, scan the... No, we already established. I can't scan the moon. Okay. Um, scan for big things. Because there's certain big things. Like, yeah, there's specks on the map. That he, oh, I think I might have just found the sun, actually. Yeah, I think I'm looking at the sun right there. So that's good. That's Or possibly it's a meteorite. Like, things might be about to get worse rather than better. There's a signal somewhere around there. Yeah, there's a signal... A signal somewhere in this part of the world, I assume. Yeah, that's that right there. Okay. Um, Keep scanning the big stuff. Go over to the other one. Yeah, go up here. There were some big things. Alright, just go through here. Find all of the stuff. All right, I'm just scanning backwards and forwards here. I've got something. The game's saying no signal, but 
I've detected something. Looks like a spaceship of some description. Possibly I'm not the only person trying to flee Earth right now. Oh, and I've found Sputnik or whatever. So there we are, another probe, but no signal being produced from it. Still, I'll make a note of the actual location. So minus 15, 7. Just so I know where stuff is. Okay, 6 minus 8. We've possibly got a meteorite about to come and murder us all. Lovely. Okay, I'm detecting something very close by to the moon here. No signal, no visibility, but something's around here. Scan. Aha! Here we go. Located a signal. There is a signal. Press enter. Okay, so I've tracked down something that I've got visibility of right now. And right, that's the moon. Are we going to the moon? Because that's quite frankly lacking in ambition given apparently I've got a teleporter. Oh, oh, hang on. This is a 5x3 grid. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, hang on. Is this the same playthrough as I printed off the... Yes, it is. Okay. I know where we're going. I know exactly where we're going. Because we know the probabilities of success. Because we printed them off. So, yeah. Top row. One in from the top right. That's 100%. Wait, hang on. When you say risk calculations, do you mean results? No, result of calculations. Not risk calculations. So, actually, this... This is the good one right there. In we go. All right, lovely. Oh, bloody hell. I also need to actually guide her in. Now, I know this is a good landing site right here. So I can... Okay. I can correct the pitch and yaw, which are probably not the right words. No, 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 no. No, you don't. I can correct the pitch and yaw, or like, you know, the, the angle. All right, I can make it be straight... When it like hits the ground. Which is good. Because you don't want to be upside down when you hit the moon. And it's just you know going a little bit off kilter here. Alright just keep it level. Alright keep her level and. She's going in. Wait for it. Wait for it. I mean this was a 100% chance in terms of the calculation results. Like if one thing's going to work out. It's right here. And. Am I about to blow up the moon? Is my mission here to blow up the moon? Because I feel like I'm about to blow up the moon. We're blowing up the moon? No, we're not blowing up the moon. We've just managed to get, like, somebody onto the moon. I'm not convinced it's a great place to go and live, to be honest. Like, in many ways, there's not much in the way of water, oxygen, food, atmosphere, anything, actually. But congrats, you're on the moon. There we go. That's the moon landing ending, apparently. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is, yeah, basically a little point-and-click puzzle adventure sort of a thing, all set around a single console, which, as I understand, is very similar to Please Don't Touch Anything, which I'm aware of, but I've never actually played myself. But yeah, a whole bunch of stuff here, like, what's the answer to that map puzzle I saw earlier? How would you get the phone number to make the dial-up internet work? What do you need the binary translator for? All of that stuff. And oh yeah, that button over on the telephone. There's a fourth button on the telephone. I don't know how to connect because Y number four won't connect to anything. And what's the black cassette for? And all sorts of other bits and pieces. Right. There's clearly like, you know, a fair bit here in its own way. What? What just happened? What was that? I just got given some batteries. And I don't know why. Was was that the battery ending? Did I just get the you didn't do anything so here are some battery endings? Wait, hang on. Was that blue or red pill? Did I just... Oh. Well, that's... That's interesting. So yes, not for everybody, but for the sort of person who enjoys a little puzzle box, might well be worth a look-see. Link in the description below in case you are indeed that sort of a person. Always nice to experience a bit of a puzzle game. I do enjoy a good puzzle on occasion. Hopefully I can squeeze in some more pretty darn soon. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut, and this has been VICCP. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.